New Mexico, 14th of October 2012. We're 39,000 kilometers above the sea level. It's already the world record for the highest manned balloon float. In the capsule, Felix Baumgartner is ready to make the jump. He is about to break the record for the highest skydive man has ever made. As he drops, he is the first person to break the sound barrier. He breaks another record. Eight million people watch online, the highest number of people ever watching a YouTube video at the same time. Welcome to the One Machine. This is the world's largest computer on a planetary scale. It consumes 1.5% of the world's electricity, equal to 30 nuclear power plants. The web holds about a trillion pages. The human brain holds about 100 billion neurons. In 2011, 1 1.8 trillion gigabytes of information was created and transmitted. Digital music sales surpassed physical record album sales. The electronic book surpassed physical book sales on Amazon. Smartphones outsold personal computers. By the end of 2012, there will be 7 billion people on Earth. 4.8 billion of them will have a mobile phone. That is more than toothbrushes. There are 2.4 billion people on the Internet. Of the total population, 14% are registered on Facebook. Every day, 432 million status updates are made on Facebook, reaching over half the users on mobile. We now know that mobile will surpass desktop computing by 2014. We are the sensors of the One Machine. Through our mobile devices, we feed it information about who, what, where and when. The question then remains, why? Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, has said that Facebook was built to accomplish a social mission. To make the world more open and connected. But aren't we the products of the Industrial Revolution? Cogs in a machine. Weavers on the assembly line. Wizards of the organizational chart. The Industrial Machine provided us growth and prosperity. Now, with accelerating change, we face entirely new global challenges. The energy crisis. Food crisis. War on resources. Global economic collapse challenges touching us all. While companies struggle to increase productivity, efficiency, effectiveness, and developing competitive advantages, aren't our models of organization outdated? One of the greatest scientists of the industrial era, Albert Einstein, has said that problems cannot be solved by the same level of thinking that created them. Today, social media expert Clay Shirky from the NYU tells us that when we change the way we communicate, we change society. When managers change the way they communicate, they change their organizations. We move from command and control to communication and collaboration. The collaborative advantage is the new competitive advantage. Do you dare to make the jump? jump?